Hello everyone, welcome to iExamB. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates on the upcoming videos. Here in this video, there is another topic that I have brought for you, which is the degrees of freedom. This is again a very, very technical topic to understand and students are many a times confused and why do we really use it? This particular topic is very important for the RBI Grade B DEPR examination. So as a social Sir has already told you about the tentative dates for the examination, it is most likely the 8th of April. Uh, we do not have enough time. You must, uh, if you haven't yet started preparation for the examination, you must do now. And now in this video, let's talk about the degrees of freedom. What exactly is this degrees of freedom? So, in very simple terms, degrees of freedom tells you that it is the total number of information that is required. Very, very general terms, it is the total number of information, the independent information that is required. So, for example, suppose I tell you that you toss a coin. When the coin is tossed, there will be only two outcomes, either a head will appear or a tail will appear. But I do not know that what exactly has appeared. So if I know that head hasn't appeared, then I know for sure that tail has appeared. Or if I know that tail hasn't appeared, then I know for sure that head must have been appeared. So there's only one piece of information here which is required. That if heads appear, then automatically I know that the tails did not appear. And if heads did not appear, then automatically I know that tails appeared. So the two possibilities, two information, out of this only one information, one piece of information is required. So hence, the degrees of freedom here is one. Similarly, suppose there is a traffic light. Okay. Now there are three signals in the traffic light, red, yellow and green. Now, suppose I ask you, you're standing at this traffic light and I ask you that what is the color of the traffic light? So you tell me it is definitely not yellow. Now I'll get annoyed and I would ask you again, what is this? Uh, I'm asking you, what is the color? And you're saying that it is definitely not yellow. So again, I ask you, so you tell me it is definitely not red. So now I know that the color of the traffic light is green. But there are two pieces of information that would be required in this case for me to know that what exactly has happened but what exactly is the color of the traffic light hence here degrees of freedom would be two because automatically if i know about two colors then automatically the third must have been there so these are some examples of tossing a coin and traffic light to understand that what exactly is degrees of freedom now in econometrics we use this term in statistics and econometrics this is widely used so how do you apply this concept there so suppose you have to calculate the mean of a data series x1 x2 so on xn you have to find the mean of this so obviously you know that you will sum it sum the whole values and divide it by the total number of observations this will give you the mean so here in order to find mean you need to know all the values x1 x2 x3 and so on xn even if one of them is missing then you cannot find mean hence you cannot apply the degrees of freedom concept here hence here all the variables are free to vary and you need to know the information about all the variables x1 x2 and so on xn now suppose there are three numbers and you have to find the standard deviation of these numbers. So the formula for standard deviation as you know is under root summation xi minus x bar whole squared divided by n minus 1. Now this n minus 1 is the degrees of freedom. So where exactly is this n minus 1 coming from is what I will now tell you. So suppose you know that the mean of these numbers is 5. This is the mean x bar. And you know only the two numbers, let's say 4 and 5. You do not know the third number. And you know the mean is x bar of these three numbers is 5. So you have to find the standard deviation. You can easily find the standard deviation. You don't need to know the third number because automatically if you know the mean then automatically the third number has to be six it cannot be anything else then only the mean is five but here even if you don't know this third number you can still calculate the standard deviation 
So hence the number of variables free to vary would be n minus 1 because you don't need this piece of information. Only these two numbers are required to be known and the mean is required to be known for you to calculate the standard deviation. Hence the degrees of freedom here is n minus 1. That is why we divide this by n minus 1. So, if you have to formally define degrees of freedom, the total number of observations, which is n, minus the independent linear constraints or restrictions that is put on them. So, let's say if there are k restrictions, then n minus k is the total number of degrees of freedom. Uh, when you study econometrics analysis, you talk about RSS, the residual sum of squares. So, in order to find, let's say if suppose there is a a uh, simple linear regression analysis that you are doing with the intercept term model then there are two parameters that you calculate beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat then only you will be able to find the residual sum of squares otherwise you cannot find the residual sum of squares hence the degrees of freedom for the residual sum of squares would be n minus 2 because these you need to know so the general formula for the degrees of freedom is n minus k i hope now with the real life example, you can now relate what exactly is degrees of freedom. This is a very technical and very often used concept in econometrics analysis and statistics. So prepare well each and every topic because you never know. Obviously, there might not be a direct question uh, from such concepts, but the application of each and every basic concepts is a must to solve a lot of questions in the examination because these concepts are implicitly used in different questions so the general rule for degrees of freedom is n the total number of observations minus the number of parameters that needs to be estimated that needs to be obtained first we have a rbi grade b dpr course where we provide live classes we have video courses we have study notes in the in the course we have chapter test section test and mock test and you can also attempt this free mock test that is available on our website to get an idea of the examination and about the kind of questions that are asked this is really close to the actual examination and you can also uh, listen to our successful student strategy for this year as well as last year's strategy so that you can also strategize your preparation for the examination if you want any guidance then right now we have a flat 70 percent off on all courses you can avail this code and enroll so in the course you will get live classes you have chapter tests, section tests and mock tests. These questions comprises of approximately 1600 MCQs for your practice and in the live classes we discuss doubts and a lot of important topics. In addition to economics preparation we also provide general awareness classes as well as descriptive English classes. So this is a complete package for your RBI grade B DEPR examination. If you wish to inquire further about any of our courses then you can call on this number or you can also email at this particular email id or you can visit our website thank you